Hello everyone welcome back to another video, guys today's video is most demanding and requested video by most of the viewers and subscribers, today in this video we will discuss on how you can enable 120Hz refresh rate in any Android phones, and can flash non-root module to spoof your Android performance, guys let me clear one thing about refresh rate application and script file, this refresh is kind of virtual refresh rate which will make your touch sensitivity smoother and faster, like 120Hz phones, but it will not show in developers option or in your display option, because it's impossible to change 60 and 90 hertz into 120 hertz phone. You can call it its virtual refresh rate application and script file, because there are so many intelligent people who thinks that, after installing the app and script file, they can see 120 hertz refresh rate option in their phones. <laughs> this app and script has created only to improve your screen touch and sensitivity like high-end phones. Along with this files, I have also provided some gaming non-root modules file which will help to boost your gaming FPS and performance in this module. Lots of gaming file has been added, like gaming mode, thermal mode, rendering layers, and many more. So guys if you also want to make your phone smoother like high-end phones, then you must try this files on your phone. Now let's move on to applying process. Please watch full video to avoid any mistakes. So guys without wasting more time let's get start the video. First you need to download and install Brevent application. These module will not work in Qt application. After installing the app, also download the files from the given link, name as 120Hz refresh rate plus prevent gaming module. Here you will get two folder. First one is force 120 refresh rate. In this folder you will get virtual 120Hz refresh rate application and script file. And in second folder, you will get lots of gaming module file, which helps for gaming, like gaming boost, all device gaming config, Nubia, an ROG spoofing file, thermal boost, render engine, all in one performance file. You can apply all of these or just according to your requirements. For now let's move on to first steps. I will show you later how you can apply these file. So first we will apply 120Hz refresh rate. To apply go back to the folder, then here copy. Refresh rate folder, then paste it in internal storage. After pasting open, prevent application, then go to execute command section. Guys I have activated prevent with the help of OTG and ADB. You can watch tutorial video link is provided. And here type this command to flash the file. And the command is sh slash sd card refresh underscore rate slash activate 120 hertz dot sh. Then simply tap to flash the file. The file is flashing. So please wait to complete the flashing process. Guys the file has been flashed, now what you need to do is, go back to downloaded folder, then install the 120Hz application. While installing, if this, notification comes, simply tap in install anyway, it's a false detection from Play Store, it's fully safe for your devices, when installation process will be completed, open the app, the interface looks like this which is really simple to use. Now simply tap in 120Hz button, it will ask for some permission, so allow the required permission, after allowing the permission, go back to the app, and again tap in this button. Now I will show you, how you can configure this app in just one tap, simply go back to the home page, then here slide down your notification panel, then tap in this pen icon. Guys this settings may different for other devices, so follow according to your device settings. Here new toggle has been added to activate and deactivate the refresh rate, as you can see here this is the toggle, now simply drag up the toggle and set here for shortcut, from here you can turn on and turn off refresh rate in just one tap. Let's check whether it's working or not, guys as you can see, I'm feeling the better smoother and faster touch response, than before, no lagging in opening and closing application. And feels good to use this kind of smoothness, I think it's working fine. 
But guys this will work only to improve your touch response, it's not for gaming, yes it will help for multiple touch while gaming, but it will not boost any FPS while gaming, you have to apply non-root module to boost your gaming FPS and performance. And I have already provided, the non-root module files, so let me show you, how you can apply that files, first go to downloaded folder, then here the module folders, it has added, game mode, all in one gaming file, thermal booster, etc. You can all these files or just according to your requirement, for example, I want to apply these files only, so now what you need to do is, simply select and copy the folder, which you want to apply, after, paste these copied folder in. Internal storage, after pasting make sure folder has been pasted successfully, now here you can see the module folders, to apply and to get module command, open the folder, here command has been provided for all the module. Open this file using with text editor, then here simply copy the command to flash the module, Now again go back to prevent application, then here paste and execute the copied command. Sorry guys here I have copied all the text, I need to clear the first text like this. Then tap here to flash, as you can see here that the module flashing process has been started, so please wait to complete the flashing process. Okay guys the flashing process has been completed. So this is the way to flash any module you want, let me show you by flashing one more file, now I will flash thermal boost module, so again follow the same process, open folder, and how to install text file, then copy the command, after copy go to prevent application, and here paste and execute the module, that's all guys the module would be flash on your phone, this is so simple isn't it, you can flash the module on your with this steps and improve gaming performance, after flashing all, module you are all set to launch your game, and enjoy better gaming experience on any Android phones, these modules are best module, which are tested by my tester, and also tested in most popular games, like, Call of Duty, BGMI, Mobile Legends, Roblox, and all, and work perfectly, guys these module will not heat while gaming, but you may face some battery draining issue while gaming, and it's normal, Draining battery faster while gaming is normal, if you tweak your phone for performance. Ok guys now let me show you, how you can remove the file, in case it will not work, to remove refresh rate file, open prevent. And here type this command, sh, slash, sd card, slash, refresh, underscore, rate, slash, remove, dot, sh, then simply execute the command, your script has been removed from your phone. You can also delete the refresh rate application from your phone, then restart your phone. And guys if you have applied module files, then you just need to restart your phone to remove the module, or there are provided the command to remove the module. Simply execute the command in prevent app, all the module would be removed from your phone. So guys this is way to improve your low end phone into faster gaming phone, with the help of refresh rate and module file. If you also want to improve gaming performance then use these files. All the links are provided in videos pinned comment or in my telegram channel, simply download and follow my steps properly. Guys I hope you liked this video, and if my videos are informative, then, kindly, like, share and subscribe for more amazing videos, so guys that's all for today, see you in next video, till then take care and sign in out.